Hello everybody, this is Brother Luke, Sin City Preacher. I'd like to take a couple of minutes now to recommend and introduce you to another one of my playlists. This one is titled, The Book of John, A Verse-by-Verse -verse Commentary. Now, I've said this many times on my videos uh, in, this, in this series and, and for years now on YouTube. You may have heard me say this. If I was in a Sophie's Choice position where I was told the entire Bible will, will no longer exist, it's be extinct, not a, even a shred of it will exist, but you can choose to save one of the books and you must make your decision right now. Uh, without any hesitation, I would save and preserve the Gospel of John. Uh, that's how important the book is. That's how much I love the book. And that's how much I urge everyone to read and study this book above all others. You see, in the beginning of chapter 1, we are, learn who Jesus is. And then the rest of the book really is dedicated to this one purpose. And that is, how do you get saved? In fact, in John's closing thoughts at the end of the book, he says that the reason he wrote the book was to teach us how to be saved. So we learn that Jesus is uh, uh, eternal. He's not created. He is eternal God Almighty, called the Word of God, and He became flesh, the Son of God, and He did this so that He could die. He had to become a man in order to die, because God cannot die. He had to die as a means of salvation for us, because man was in a hopeless, hopeless situation, so God intervened on our behalf. And he, he died and paid for our sins and he rose from the dead. And this demonstrates how much God loves us. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. That verse is in the book of John, John 3.16. So we, we learn that Jesus is eternal God Almighty, manifest in the flesh as the Son of God, that he died for our sins, was raised from the dead, and we're saved simply by believing on Jesus and his finished work on the cross for us. So it's the most important message in the whole Bible. It's the reason the book was written. I've said many times that uh, if you're a, a brand new believer, um, rather than saying, well, I want to read the Bible from beginning to end, that's a worthy goal, and that's something you should do at some point in your life. But my advice, in fact, I urge you, don't read anything in the Bible except the Gospel of John. Read it completely and then do it again and again. Read the Gospel of John five times, ten times, twenty times. Read it until it's so much a part of you and your mind and your DNA that everything else you read after that can be tested against John. Because if you read something else in Matthew or James or anywhere else and and you're confused and you think that there is a some kind of a contradiction you rely on John for the truth and then you study to uh, learn how to uh, understand the other books in light of the truth that's in John so this is a verse-by-verse -verse commentary I go through the book of John 
one verse at a time, and I, uh, I take 40 videos. Each video is between 30 minutes and an hour. So there's a lot of content, and uh, I took my time to go through it very thoroughly. Uh, I hope you'll watch it and comment and share it. Bless you in the name of our great Savior God, Jesus.